Hi, I'm Jason Reitnauer, and today I will be discussing the changes of audio sound in show production for arts, theater, and Broadway plays. When the first theater house was built in 1576 in London by James Burbage and other future theaters, they were built based upon the acoustics of the building itself for sound purposes. They would use brick or stone walls, hollow or wood floors, and rounded the sides of the stage or auditorium to create a reverb or echo effect so the voices would be heard by the audience. Nowadays we cover up that reverb or echo sounds in buildings with special acoustic panels because the voices and sounds are now amplified with microphones, speakers, soundboards, and specialized audio equipment. As theater came to North America in the 18th century, and by the 19th century technology was growing, microphones, speakers, amplified sound was being invented. The theater still chose not to use any of this technology because they felt it would take away from the personal touch of the actor's performance. Also, they couldn't figure out how they would carry around big bulky mics while acting, or having standing mics on stage which would interfere with the changing of the sets. Also, the soundboard was a huge analog type, which were very hard to control and sometimes unreliable, and not capable of running the number of mics needed for such a production and they would probably have to use like two or three of the boards. As technology continued to grow and mics became smaller, new and improved soundboards, speakers, and audio equipment were being developed, theaters began to incorporate this technology little by little, instead of concentrating on the building structure alone. Today's show production used more hardware and software technology than ever before, with lapel, hair, shotgun mics, digital consoles, and improved loudspeakers, each actor can be mic'd separately and controlled easier along with multiple mics and speakers hidden on stage. Today's mixer consoles are digital computerized software machines and can run multiple channels with up to 30 plus mics with great ease and saving all settings from EQs to special dynamics with unique software. This saves the sound engineer time and less mistakes are made from rehearsals to the actual show. This is a huge leap in hardware and software of computers for show production in this day and age. Sound effects in show productions is another area where the increase of technology has benefited. In the upcoming days of theater, sound effects were created by people backstage using things like gravel boxes, slapstick, door slams, and other things for certain sound effects needed. When recording machines like Reel to Reel came along, it was easier to record real live sounds to use in these productions, as well as using the orchestra instruments for certain sound effects. Today's sound effects are now being created by various types of computers and software programs. Using MIDI controllers and various types of keyboards, you can create almost any sound effect you need. But orchestra still plays an important role in live show productions and are still used today for some sound effects. This is how computer hardware and software has changed over the past years in the industry of show production and theater plays. The new technology that I have available now makes a huge impact on the shows and performances and the audience's opinion. I incorporated much of this technology in our production of Beauty and the Beast that we just finished, including a live orchestra. So thank you for joining me in my podcast today. Hope you've enjoyed it.